Well, hello there. My name is Lakeisha, and it's time to go to bed. Just as I was about to film this video, my nail fell off. Anybody who knows me knows that I'm not a big fan of fragrance in my skincare, but I still do love an aromic experience. So what I do is I actually use a cleansing spray. Now this is a DIY spray with vinegar, essential oils, and teas that I love. And I put them in a little spray here to spray my environment so I get a little bit of that aromatherapy ambiance. Mm. Smells like lavender and eucalyptus. The next thing I do is I wash my hands because we do not want that on the face at all. And since we've all been home for COVID, I'm sure we know how to wash our hands. It's 20 seconds, guys. And as you guys can see, I've already removed all of my jewelry on my neck and my hands. Personally, I like cleansing without that kind of stuff. And if I have any pimples on my skin, I feel like my rings kind of pop them when I don't want them to. So I always make sure to remove that. I also cleanse my neck, so I don't want this area to have anything there. So starting off my cleansing routine, I have my cleansing oil. My cleansing oil is from R&W. This is their purifying cleansing oil that's made with grapeseed gentle and light. I use about two pumps. Rub it into my hands just like that. And I use this regardless if I'm wearing makeup or not because cleansing oil is for all of the oil on your skin. So your sebaceous glands and your sunscreen as well. You want to make sure that that doesn't sit on your skin while you're sleeping. So give your skin a massage for about 60 seconds before moving on to the next step. As you guys can see, I did avoid my eyes, and that's simply because I don't like cleansing oil around that area. I feel like it gets into my actual eyes, and I'd rather avoid that uncomfortable feeling. So what I use instead is an eye makeup remover. This one is the eye makeup remover from Annabelle. It's made with aloe vera and cucumber extract, and I love this one especially because of the quick, easy pump that's at the top. Removing your eye makeup has traditionally been a very wasteful process, but I do want to make sure that I and being as environmentally conscious as I can be. So I actually don't use any cotton rounds and I don't use makeup wipes. You guys know that I think makeup wipes are the devil, so I don't use those. But instead, I use a microfiber towel. And this is what I'll use to remove my actual oil cleanser as well, since I don't want the water dripping all over my neck. I got this one from Amazon. I got a pack of, I think, 12, and it was really inexpensive. I'll link it down below. But this has definitely become a holy grail. So the first thing I'll do is wet this cloth. On the corners here, I will do two pumps on each side. One, two, and one, two. And I'll do that for each eye. I'm first gonna place it on the eye and leave it there for about 10 seconds or so. Just moving it back and forward to loosen up or break down the makeup that's on my eye. And then I'll wipe it away. And wow, with one wipe, look how clean my eye is. That is so crazy to me. I'll do another one and I'll be as gentle as I can possibly be. What I love about this makeup remover is that even if it does get in your eyes, it doesn't feel stingy, it doesn't burn or anything like that. It's just very, very gentle. So I'll do the next side. And just hold it there and then wipe it away. Like, do you guys see? This is one pass. Do you guys see how clean this is already? A makeup wipe could never. And I'll gently go through my eyelashes to make sure that they're clean. Now that my eye makeup is gone, I'm gonna wet the cloth again and remove the rest of my oil cleanser. And of course you don't want to forget the hairline, so I'll wrap my finger underneath the cloth and then I'll just go back and forth on the actual hairline to make sure that's clean too. Now that my makeup and sunscreen is gone, I will go into a water-based cleanser to actually cleanse my skin. And at nighttime, I love my routine to be as hydrating as possible, so I'm going to use a hydrating cleanser. This is the biggest bottle that you can find of the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser for normal to dry skin. I love this cleanser because it has those essential ceramides 
And what I love about this cleanser is that it is so gentle on the skin. It cleanses without stripping the skin of any of its natural oils and your skin just feels really nice and hydrated. And I've been trying this new thing where I'm dry cleansing, so essentially not adding any water to my cleanser as I'm putting it on my face. I'll cleanse for 60 seconds like this, and then I'll add water and cleanse for another 60 seconds. And as you guys can see, this doesn't really set up at all. It's really, really gentle. It doesn't have any really harsh surfactants in it. This one is great if you're suffering from acne or have any redness or irritation on your skin. Also, if you have very dry skin, this will be good because of course it's really hydrating. Usually I wash my face in the shower, so I do the entire neck, chest, and everything, but I'm over the sink, so I don't really want to do all of that. Um, but just know that I would usually bring it all the way down to my nipples. I typically don't even pat dry my skin. I just leave it soaking wet and jump right into my next step. This is typically a mask for me. This would be a mud mask or a clay mask or a hydrating mask. Tonight I'm using a hydrating mask. This is the Nature Republic Soothing and Moisture 92% Aloe Vera and I'm going to be using this all over my face as a really beautiful moisture mask so I can get all of that extra hydration. It is this beautiful gel, as you guys can see. Because I cleanse my skin at night in the shower, I usually do this step after I come out of the shower. I will immediately put this on my skin, moisturize my body, I'll wash my hands, and then continue with the rest of my skincare routine once this is soaked into my skin. So while that is doing its thing, I'm actually just gonna brush my teeth. <laughs> So it's been a few minutes and the aloe vera has already soaked into my skin. Now I make sure that it's not fully soaked in because it's really important to apply your serums and those type of products while your skin is still damp. So tonight I'm going to keep it simple and use a repairing serum. Tonight I'm using Notorium's Retinol Serum 2.5%. This is a beautiful retinol complex that is encapsulated so it's not going to be super drying on the skin. And I really love this serum because it is super light on the skin. Part of why I'm using the aloe vera or the moisturizing lotion is because retinol can be very drying. This one fortunately has a lot of humectants in it, has a lot of hydrating ingredients, so it's going to be a lot gentler on your skin. And because of the encapsulation, it's going to allow your skin to absorb it without experiencing that excessive dryness and irritation that we all know and do not love. <laughs> Next, I'm going to moisturize my skin, and I love using something that's really simple. This product is something that I use all the time. This is the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion with its three essential ceramides. I love this because it's super simple and it's really light. You guys know that I have combination skin, so my moisturizers have to be very, very light. I don't want anything to feel heavy, but I still want to make sure that my skin gets the necessary ingredients that it needs, and this is perfect for me. And I will actually use this as an eye cream as well. Now all of the products that I've used so far are water-based, so I want to make sure that I'm locking all that moisture in with an occlusive agent. Tonight I'm using Notorium's Plant Squalane Face Oil 100%. This is a really light oil that has so many amazing benefits for the skin. I'll put two drops in the middle of my palms, and then I'll rub my hands together and pat it into the skin. <sighs> What I love is this oil is so lightweight, so it's really good for anyone who has combination skin. It is non-comedogenic, so it's not going to clog your pores, but it's still going to give you a little bit of that emollience that your skin needs to just lock in all of that moisture so that overnight, none of it leaves the skin. When you wake up in the morning, you have fresh, glowing, hydrated skin. I'll also use this oil on my lips as a lip balm. And now I'm ready to go to bed. And that is my evening routine. Thanks for going to bed with me. Good night.